seven, number 19 team in the country, but haven't had the best time in Pac-12 play. Delgado makes contact and gets one past Lissy. So a leadoff single sure starting just her sixth game. Best, best batting average on the team. Runner goes, throw made, and in time. Sarah Kinch connecting with Jasmine Rollin. And Bunker gets a piece of that one, but it's high into the outfield, and Kayla McCarthy secures the catch, sending Oregon back to the duck. From that left side, batter's box, an interesting entry into ASU. And with that one, just a bit off the plate, Kayla McCarthy with the good eye draws those these infielders for Oregon for much of the night. Speaking of that, the Lusher sisters. You got one sister in right, one sister in left. As Acuna just is that they sit at. Rollin batting 312 on the season. She's got seven, so I'm sure ASU was looking for her to do so right here. And there she goes, gets one to the outfield. McCarthy doesn't quite have the speed to get all her spot, and she's had a really good opportunity here with runners atop all. Harper makes contact. They'll go home with it. As your textbook power hitter, she's either going long or she's going home. Fly balls to the outfield. You have the chance to tag up. Van Hook puts it on the ground again. Yanni Acuna on the move, and that's one run on the board for the Sun Devil. Rollin and McKenna Harper on base. Alexa Milius at three hits. That one right back to Breedlove and the easy out made at first one in the inning, but not before. Design people as there you see Marissa Schultz stats coming into today's game. She's already got leading off the inning for the Ducks. It's Tara McGowan batting three of the Ducks into the double digits. It's always something to be aware of. Gets one to the outfield. Yanni on the move. Let's it hit the wall. McGowan going for two and Edry Luchar is up to bat. She gets a hold of that one to the outfield and caught by Acuna. Well, I'm sure after coming back home from being in snowy Utah as Humphreys rolls one to Jasmine Rollin and Rollin likely and Taya Bird, she knows how to bring him in. 21 RBI opportunities for her to come in. And Taya Bird gets caught looking at a nice pitch from Marissa in the batter's box. Yeah, 250 those, average. I was about to say the the, uh, the the Ducks able to get on top of them as Sinicki pops one up high into shallow outfield. Kayla McCarthy underneath it. And, and the first pitch swung on, grounded to the shortstop, and we'll be in time over there at first. Definitely, definitely will. First pitch to Sarah Kinch, ball one, batting 167. A lot of, a lot of work to get through their lineup and get this done. And 3-2 pitch to Kinch is going to be swung on. Oh, what a play out there by the right fielder. In right field. Yeah, definitely, definitely something that uh, that we made. Is kind of setting up the zone a little iffy there. And 3-2 pitch grounded over to the shortstop. Going to be put away to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no. The first inning, kind of a little, uh, a little dinker over the. A one pitch to her slapped over there to Lissy. She'll pick that one up and then throw it over to Van Hook. Put her away. No stranger to Tempe, Arizona playing. Probably got a couple of fall ball matchups. To Oregon, but Lucier, the one two pitch slapped on the ground to Lissy. She'll pick it up and then fire over to Van Hook to get the quick, quick Kylie. But Bunker, Tia, like you said, her first time up, she's kind of been the, the cuts. We can't go farther than this. Swung on, popped up. And Rollins will go out to get it, but she'll be called off by the right fielder, Yanni Acuna. Put her away. First pitch. Swung on, roped out to left center. Going to be fielded out there by Delgado. Kind of shifted over towards the left fielder. And first at bat today, she was kind of nailed on the shoulder. Took a phenomenal player for ASU on both sides of the ball. As that one's roped out to second base, but she couldn't handle it. And Acuna will end up on first base. Second baseman, definitely no slouch at the plate. As she ropes one back to up the middle and double play to end the inning.
He had that double, like I mentioned, when she let off the second inning and roster overhaul. It helps out a lot. And McCow had a big swing at that one. It's back to the wall. Harper makes the catch, so hit hard, but not, but just not quite far enough. As you see there, that's the RBI double from Alyssa. And the 2-2 pitch for Daniel. Delivers and popped up high. Kayla Lissy coming all the way across. You know, Savannah Price coming to the earlier. Now she'll get a chance at the in the batter's box to do some. Lushar out to center field. Kalen McCarthy, another grounded into a fielder's choice. Back in. Once again, another hard hit ball high in the air by Harper, but the center fielder underneath it. Impact 12 play one against Arizona in the Sun Devils' first series in one. It's just the way that she's come from. A role player as she makes contact there, pushing it foul, making the catches, Luchar. So Jordan Van Hook, this time she'll look to maybe get one into one of the Milius took a hard swing, but got it off the wrong part of the bat. Easy ground out, right back to the pitcher once again. Four innings of this game has reached her longest outing of the season. Swings out one on the inside, and Humphreys getting sent back to the dugout plate. Who? Swings at that one, though, and able to drop it in for a single. So Taya Bird looking to in, and Paige Sinicki will be looking to help her advance on these base pass. Pops one up right into the glove of Schold, and... Morris able to get back to the bag in time. As you see, on to the day, she's one for two with a single and a ground out, but. Delgado ropes one into the right field, and Yanni Acuna not able to get there in time. Morris scouts. Carlson ropes one to the outfield, drops it. Two runs will score, and four to one for the Ducks. Yeah, the Ducks mounting a late charge like they did last night. Bird, who were able to come around for the runs. Now that brings Allie Bunker. So Bunker right over to Jasmine Rollin for the final out, but not before Oregon plates. Kinch gets one up high. Going back is Delgado, but caught before goal for one on the day. Looking to keep ASU going. Scholl makes contact, looks like it might go foul and dropped by Luchar, so he saw the nice play, but makes contact and gets one just barely fair. Marissa Scholl is working, might make it all the way home. Bartlett sending her, Marissa Scholl in for the run, Jasmine Hill. The nine home runs to Rollin with seven. And then right after her is McKenna Harper, who's been nothing but consistent with uh, with contact hitting, so. So Tara McGowan back down in her stance. That means they help pitch to Jazzy. So look for her to be a potential dangerous player on the base pass. She'll go, and the throw doesn't get there in time. Yanni Akun. You chance rising as Jasmine Rollin gets one high into the air, but it's popped up in the right field and caught by Kedri Sharp. So able to come around on after recording that double. So he went transferred before even playing a season in the desert with the Sun Devils and gets a nice piece of that one to the outfield. Caught by McKenna Harper at the wall to send terribly. Well, he has the opportunity then in the transfer portal. Daniel puts one on the ground to Rollin who makes the nice grab and the easy toss to Van Hook for the out. So the Sun Devils getting out. Luchar, this one gets to the outfield and a single for the soft. She's got a strike you out and is able to make it on base due to oh, and kind of weird hop. This time Humphreys gets it over the glove of Kayla Lissy and Trucking around the bases is Luchar. Looks like she'll come in to score another run for the Ducks. Two out RBI double there 
from KK Humphrey. First year that she said, you know, we could use you a little bit more out of the bullpen. And able to get the strikeout against Taya Bird is Marissa Scholl to end the inning. So innings pitched that she threw against Missouri. That one on the ground from Harper scooped up and tossed to first base by Sinicki, the shortstop, since then fought back. And Van Hook skies one. And underneath it is Sinicki for out number two of the inning. In Salt Lake, Utah beating Stanford four to three. But man, is it frustrating. And this time she'll get one through the hole in the right side of the infield for a single. She has had the opportunity. So Kayla, let's see another player who's grounded out twice to you with two outs on the board. And now Alexa Milius on that one right up the middle. The out made at second by Ali Bunker over to Paige Sinicki. And Oregon shuts down Carissa Arnales. Coming in here at the bottom of. And a lot of contact from Arnales there. Caught in foul territory by McKenna Harper, though. Brings Hannah Delgado back to the plate around at the top of the order for Orbitz. Have been extra bases. And Marissa Scholl delivers her first walk of the night. Little pitch there by, by Scholl to one down in a way that not a lot of people can reach. So This time Carlson gets it fair and back is McKenna Harper who makes the catch. This time, Bunker puts it on the ground. Over to first is the throw from Savannah Price. So ASU took a moment for the Sun Devils in this season. This time, Yaya gets it up. Coming across to Nikki. Didn't give her a chance. And one down for or And Marissa Schold hangs on to draw the walk from Morgan Scott. Yeah, birthday girl had a, had a RBI triple last time. Energy, but not quite enough in the fifth inning. This time, double play looking to be made. Paige Sinicki's going to get it in time. That'll end the game. So the Sun Devils will head to tomorrow's game to try. You know, it was a, it was a hard-fought game. There was some opportunities late that the Sun Devils just couldn't, couldn't muster up. And...